And yeah, so this is Lane, and um, and if you saw my first, if you saw the first video of the series, which um, which are called defending the faith, and defending the faith, answering answering objections to the faith, something like that. You know that, what well, I should say, if you saw both of them, hopefully you have. But if you saw, I believe it was both, that then you should know that the part, the part one had more answered objections, or at least what I tried to answer. And so, um, and so naturally, I just, like, after that, I tried to answer less objections, but better. <coughs> but better. Well, after that, I realized that that was, that that was somebody who, when on likelihood, was giving me a hand to, who started answering, um, answering my comments, in a comment, in another comment war, and then just like, okay, here we go again. So, I'm just going to go ahead and answer the main objection they had, which was that Hinduism is the oldest religion, and therefore it's right. Um... No, that is not the case. Hinduism is not that one. You cannot trust any of the Hindu gods. 33 million are sinful. And not to mention, why do they have, like, it seems like they have extremely human characteristics. And I don't mean in the same way that Jesus was a human. I don't mean it in, I don't mean that in the same way at all. Um, Jesus was a human, fully God and fully man, yet without sin. So he never sinned. Completely different than the, than all, all Hindu gods. Um. Not to mention, in her likelihood, Judaism is pretty pretty likely to be the oldest religion, and and Christians. It went from Judaism down to Christianity. Well, in Judaism, they are still having to keep the law. They are trying to work by faith and. By faith and works. To keep the law. Do good. And work to get to heaven. Or work for a peaceful and dry relationship. Between man and God. At least so. Would they believe the Savior is going to be to come. Because they do not believe that Jesus was the Messianic Messiah. They, they do not. And it's talking about Messianic Judaism. In which case they do. That's basically just a... Like... A branch of Judaism. Very, very small. That... Basically, is like Christians. But they strictly... Like, they are very strict. In her... In her... In... Um, adhering to... The Mosaic Law. To the Ten Commandments, to some of them, to Yom to Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, um, and everything's along the line. But knowing that they went from Judaism to Christianity, which now we are no longer under the law. All of us, all of us are no longer under the law. It's our schoolmaster, so we can we can learn, we can learn from the law. But that don't mean that we have to live, live under the law. We don't have to try keeping the messianic law 
completely perfect and having to worry about our salvation. That Jesus fulfilled the law. He did not do away with it. He did not come to fulfill. I mean, he did not to. He did not come to um. He did not come to abolish the law, but he he did come to fulfill it. And so, knowing that Jesus was a Jew, he he worshipped, he believed in God the Father, like I do, like many, like many claim. Not millions live like, but I will say this. There is some, there is some that live like they actually believe that the rapture can happen at any time, which is what I believe. I believe so strongly that the, I, I do, I believe the rapture can happen any moment. Um, I do. And I believe that the rapture can happen any moment. I believe in God the Father. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I mean, co-tenants of of the Christian of the Christian faith. But again, getting down to thirty-three million Hindu gods, all sinful. How can you trust them? You can't. You can't trust a sinful God. Um, if there's any Hindus who stumble across this video or any Christians who stumble across this video and have Hindu friends please recommend them this video please not for my sake but for that sake um I might, I might be able, I might be able to at least, I actually might be able to talk, to talk to them and see why they actually believe what they believe and worship sinful gods because there is, there is a broad way that leads to destruction and there is a narrow way which leads to life. And there's few that found it. But many go in the broad way. Um, this video is actually a lot shorter than I thought it would be. But please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn this post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. And, um, and... I have been watching my YouTube analytics and thank y'all because I think it was like six. I gained, I gained six subscribers within the course of the last 28 days, I want to say it was. And that is fantastic. Thing. So thank y'all. But, um, but I've also noticed this that about 33 34% of subscribers of my watch time. I'm directly from my subscribers. Well, I'm very grateful for that. So again, thank y'all. Could we work to get that to about 50-50? About 50-50? If not 60% of y'all subscribed and 40% of y'all not, not subscribed, that would be awesome. Please and thank you. And so please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn this post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. Till next time, peace.